I'm Todd Durham, and I'm the president of the Northern Illinois University Mars Rover Team. This year, with our 20 members, we completely redesigned our rover with the knowledge gained from Picus Martius. The new rover, Ad Astra, which is Latin for to the stars, was put together by our eight subgroups. Now they're going to talk about how they put their project together. The chassis was redesigned this year in order to allow more space to add internal components, as well as simplify how those components are mounted. A bar differential is used, similar to previous years, to keep the rover level. The previous design of the rocker bogey was made from steel, which, while structurally strong, ended up adding a lot of weight to the rover. So this year we redesigned it using carbon fiber tubing, supported by aluminum plates and inserts, which ended up dropping the weight significantly. We designed a six degree of freedom robotic manipulator that utilizes two linear actuators for heavy lifting. It's capable of 360 degree rotation and up to 50 inches of reach. We're using 3D printed gears to mate with encoders for orientation of the arm. For the arm, we are integrating a control system that allows the end effector to translate through world coordinates, as well as allow it to orient itself among Cartesian axes. To do this, we use inverse velocity kinematics and dynamics to solve for each of the motor's angular velocity in real time. The purpose of this is to facilitate the manual control of the robotic arm, as well as make the overall motion of the robotic arm intuitive. Our new gripper design implements a lightweight four bar linkage. It is driven directly with a geared motor to a lead screw that allows for minimal feedback under high torque scenarios. For the design of the actual wrist itself, we opted to use a dual motor system, which in doing so allows us to handle higher torques in different loading scenarios. Utilizing a dual motor system for the manipulator and wrist itself, we are able to go for a more lighter design, so we opted for a belt-driven system. This allows for the design to be much lighter and possibly more robust compared to a more traditionally geared manipulator system. To more evenly support the load of the rover, the wheel mounting mechanism was created where the wheel is supported on both sides. The motors are mounted above the rocker bogey, away from potential obstructions on the ground, and are chain driven down using custom sprockets. The wheels were redesigned this year to be 3D printed out of TPU, which is thermoplastic polyurethane, which is a flexible plastic. This was done to reduce the number of parts required to put the wheel together down to one, which is significantly less than what it was in previous years. The science test team opted to use an auger for digging a hole into the ground, and then using that same hole, we were then able to plunge sensors into it and use that to collect data for possible life protection. The purpose of the science task is to determine whether extinct or accident life exists. To do this, we will insert an auger into the wrist. The auger will then drill six inches into the soil. The wrist will rotate 180 degrees and release a linear actuator containing various sensors into the soil. These sensors will test the vitality of the soil, the temperature, the relative humidity, the salinity, the pH levels. The near-infrared sensor will be used to determine whether essential elements of life exist in the soil. In order to be able to access the capabilities of the rover while the PDCB was in development, a test bench composed of BEX, an Arduino Mega, a TX2, and three 24-volt LiPo batteries were utilized. We're using six Talon SRX ESCs for drive motor control. These utilize PWM signals in order to communicate with the power distribution and control board. Our team is developing a custom platform powered by the ARM Cortex-M4 known as MARCS the multi-purpose autonomous robotic control system. Marks is a six-layer custom circuit board designed, assembled, and tested by our team. Our team has just started assembling Marks and our initial testing is going great. The board is extremely versatile and is the heart of the rover. The board handles data acquisition for the rover's various sensors and is capable of handling any future instrumentation that's needed. Marks is also responsible for power regulation, distribution, and monitoring to provide power to the motors, sensors, and other devices on the rover and ensure everything is working as designed. Along with a dedicated team of programmers, I've actually developed the code for our rover. Like a lot of URC teams, we use the uh, robotic operating system as a foundation for most of our code. Along with that, we develop a lot of code in-house and actually use OpenCV algorithms for our computer vision needs. Alongside that, we have the hardware portion, which uses an NVIDIA Jetson TX2 and the Intel RealSense camera. Something that I'm really proud of is we have actually developed a tiny prototype of the rover that we develop our code on alongside the manufacturing and development of the main rover. NIU Mars Rover!